Hey, in this video, we'll be learning by example how to copy and modify an existing Plasma widget. So to do this, we can easily navigate to User Share Plasma Plasmoids to find all the default widgets. So you've got all the default widgets like the uh, calendar, the digital clock, which is the normal clock, uh, the fuzzy clock, and you've got the three application launchers, which is the default application launcher kickoff. You've got the application dashboard kicker dash, and you've got the application menu kicker. Um, to fork an existing widget, we just got to copy the widget to where the downloaded widgets are installed to, which is in your home directory under the hidden folder dot local share plasma plasmoids. So we'll go there. And there's a bunch of other things there, but we'll copy the calendar widget, which is basically the clock, but without the uh, clock bit, it's just the calendar. And we're going to rename it to com github zren my calendar. This is so that it doesn't conflict with any of KDE's new widgets by using their KDE namespace. So we've uh, renamed the folder. So to properly fork the widget, rename the new folder, then edit the xkde plugin info name in the metadata.desktop. So let's just open up this, all the folders. So not this, we'll edit that later though but we need to edit the xkde plugin info name and this needs to match the folder name so com github zren my calendar the plugin info name is important as it's the folder name that it's installed to as we've technically already installed it by copy pasting to the folder these two need to match um, then we need to uh, edit the name up here so we'll call this my calendar. And now what we also have to uh, delete all these translations because you could be a French developer and it'll automatically translate it and it doesn't help if it has the same name as the default kitty widget. So that's what it should look like now. And we also lastly delete the uh, metadata.json. This is the uh, newer metadata format, but it just duplicates this stuff. So we could also uh, delete or uh, edit all this stuff as well, but it's just easier to delete it for now. And finally, just run plasma windowed to test the newly forked widget. So plasma windowed. This is what it normally looks like. So KD Plasma Calendar. This is what it normally looks like. And this is what our new widget looks like. Com GitHub SRAN My Calendar. See, it's got My Calendar up there. So it knows that it's changed. All right, let's just poke at it and make a small change. So we'll go down here to the uh, full representation, this is the month view. And it just so happens that I know a quick little change that we can do. We're gonna change the border opacity from 0 0.4 to zero. So let's try this, change it to that, save the file and rerun. And now we've quickly modified it. And if we wanted to, we could add it to the desktop at widget my calendar. Ah, so this is the compact representation. We just gotta make the widget a little larger to show the full representation. There we go. I hope this helped you get your foot in the door with modifying Plasma widgets. If you wish to continue modifying this widget, you're gonna use a Plasma window to quickly test and then reload Plasma entirely, which is rather cumbersome, to test the desktop widget live. I'll be showing more advanced ways of testing a Plasma widget in an upcoming video, along with how to reload Plasma Shell without logging out and logging back in. Have a good one.